Right now, right? Is this? Oh, yeah, it takes us started. Oh, <laughs> we'll pour them all around this there. Okay, <laughs> we rate things, and you can you can rate your pizza too. If you like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna contribute? There's a, there's a kitty that needs rescuing. Hold on. <laughs> um, I'm not a book kid. That's what her boot fell out. Oh my the whole god. Thing that came up. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my that. gosh. Is this a filming thing? Oh. What's going on? What are we doing? Would you like to try? Johnny, the internet. internet Johnny. He's come up for a slice of pizza and to crash. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a Stinchin video without without Jack. <laughs> and, and Tony to edit him out. Absolutely him out. not. <laughs>
well, the best. The I didn't really. Is... I didn't select this glass. This is actually <laughs> to me, but I will happily take the credit. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So on the nose, let's give it a smell and see what it smells like. Hmm. Uh, sweet. It's. Kind of like a like a almost like a like a sugary sweetness. What are you getting? I think it's citrus, definitely. I mean, yeah, citrusy. Citrus. But I can't nail what fruit it is. It's almost like I'm getting kind of like a. Is it green apple? Maybe. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. That's a good guess. Because it's all, it's very sour, which I imagine that it would be anyway. Because it's in like the saison character. That farmhouse, yeah. yeah. Yeah, farmhouse funk. Playing the noise mm. in the funk. Green apple, maybe like a little honey in there. That honey sweetness, like that mm -hmm. natural sweetness. All right. Enough smelling, shall we? We so no. shall. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays, you guys. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Even though this is going to come out after Thanksgiving. Ooh, lots of fizz. Wow. Lots of fizz right in the back on the sides. Gives you the squeegees behind the ears. That's what I call that. Like sour feeling. Yeah. I call that the sour, sour sweats. Yeah. Sour sweats. Yeah, because you have like a sour candy and you... And then like you salivate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you yeah. salivate. But it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. Ooh. No. I don't know. It's weird. Like mm -hmm. the funk's all in the front and then it eases out in the back. It's pretty dry. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and you haven't had this, but you, where did you, you wanted to do this beer though. I did, yeah. I saw an ad in the Bon Appetit magazine. The bon Appetit magazine. So. <laughs> Shout out Bon Appetit magazine. <laughs> Your ads are working. <laughs> and saying how this is a good uh, beer to be paired with the Thanksgiving dinner. Interesting. I don't know what you guys think about that. But. That would make sense. Well, particularly with the apple smelling. I mean, it's like, well, let's talk about the taste because we haven't really talked about the sourness of it. But it's like a biscuity finish. Yeah, bready. Mm. Um, I can see this going well with turkey. Why not? Yeah, I mean, it's what's cool is that it, because like the the champagne bubbles, um, I think it kind of opens up your palate maybe a little bit more to some of the rich tastes that come with with Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's a pre meal cheese spread of mm -hmm. some sort, or um, good with brie, mm -hmm. some brie, uh, or you could. You know, you could, because it's so dry on the finish, because it does kind of like, although it's funky in the front a little bit, and then it goes away, you could really pair this it with... It makes um, you burp. It makes you. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you burp. Um, you know, it, it makes you want to kind of taste like those, like, sweet potatoes or... Yeah, uh, yeah. Apple pie, too. Apple pie. I can see this with apple pie. You could, this is weird, because some beers, I find that you could have them, you should have them before, because it's kind of a nice little... Aperitif, you know, you want to like kind of get your appetite going. Open up your uh, your palate a little bit. Then you have like some beers that you want to have during the dinner, and then you have some that have like the dessert. Maybe like it's a stout or a porter or something. This could do any one of those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would cut the fat really nicely because of like the the citrus, the light citrus flavor and the effervescent nature of it. You know, like so. I don't know. Mm -hmm. the palate comes. And actually, this is uh, I could very easily see uh, people wanting to try this at New Year's. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. If you're not a big fan of champagne, yeah. but you like beer, this is a kind of happy medium. You could definitely... It is, yeah. You know, if you're not like, oh, I can't do champagne, it's too sweet, it gives me a headache or whatever, but you like beer and you want to maybe grab something different, grab the Goose Island Sophie. Mm -hmm. That's... How many could you have, though? When you see yourself like, you know... It is, it's, I mean, it, I could have a couple, it's 6.5%, so it's yeah. not going to knock you over, but I think I'd have a hard time with having more than, say, two or three because of the bubbles. Mm -hmm. I think I'd be, I'd be burping all night. <laughs> <laughs> and as you keep drinking, the sourness wears off. Like it that, really does. That first sip was way wow. more funky than, you know, the seventh sip. Yeah. Com you know completely what I mean? agree. That's what I find with a lot of beers, um... If you're drinking a like an ESB, which is an extra special bitter, um, it has that like bitter taste right away. Or sometimes it's that first sip of that IPA, mm -hmm. and it's got that fresh hop, and then mm -hmm. your taste buds kind of Super adjust. Mm -hmm. Same thing with this funk, and same thing with like a sour ale. If you have something like that, it's it's. Yeah, a... I've been easing into sours. I remember when we had the, just the 
making a pesh like years ago. Yep. Um, and we were tasting that for a post, and we were both like, eh. but now I'm more into it. I'm more open to it. For sure. Yeah, sours are the new IPA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's getting to sours just a little bit. I just went to uh, a local brewery called Back East Brewing Company in Bloomfield, and they were releasing their Cherry Berliner Weiss, and it is sour. Mm-hmm. This sour. I got one in my car. We can crack it. But... <laughs> Do you know that Pretty Things is no more? Pretty, oh. Do you know about Pretty Things in, in Massachusetts? Oh. That brewery. No. After nine years, they're they're uh, they're moving on to no. different things, but they had a lot of great stuff. Oh. So, thank you, Pretty Things, for all you've done. Thank you, Pretty Things. <laughs> thank you. Cheers we'll miss yeah. you. to Pretty Things. Pretty yeah, things. yeah, one is bad. Five is is good. five is amazing. One is mm. Coors Light. Light. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Maybe, 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 sorry. <laughs> like, actually, of all of those, I will tap a course. I will tap the Rockies before anything else. Yeah. For sure. Okay, sorry. Getting off track. Um, you know, I'd give this a solid three and a half. You know, um, I'm not over the moon about it. I probably wouldn't pick up another four pack, but I would enjoy it enough to, you know, finish this glass and finish what we have and, mm-hmm. and recommend it to others that are in this styling category and dig it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Three and a half. All right. Mm-hmm. Kel, what do you think? I give it a four. Okay. I really liked the fruitiness of it and the effervescence and bubbles and things. This is right up my alley. I liked it. It's pretty light, too. That's another mm-hmm. thing that yeah. I don't know if we talked about. Yeah. It's not going to really weigh you down. The, the very, very, I mean, obviously you can see how light it is. Uh, very light body. So, mm-hmm. four. Uh, I'm going to go um, three and a half. I think it's good. Uh, it's it's that kind of beer that you want to have maybe at the beginning of the night, and you know it's it's Thursday, it's Thirsty Thursday, or it's Friday after work, and you're just like, man, I just need a nice, you know, something to just relax and maybe slow down, have a nice Belgian style, something a little bubbly, just kind of get your night started, and then maybe shift over to like a night nice IPA or you know whatever your style is. But mm-hmm. yeah, three and a half. I'm gonna go three and a half. Cool. And the other thing that I just noticed as I'm looking over there is the year on this thing. Can you guys see that? 2012. So this is aged three years. So, and this is actually one thing that I did catch on the website is that, as I read the back of the bottle too, develops in the bottle for up to five years. So, oh, wow. Interesting. So it actually ages pretty well. I wonder how this would compare to something that was, you know, came out just now, like this year. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's interesting for sure. So, all right. Well, from all of us to all of you watching, happy Thanksgiving, happy, happy holidays. Thanksgiving. Happy Cheers. Thanksgiving. Thank you, cousins, for joining me. Thank you, cousin, for having us. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Uh-huh. <laughs>